Is there anything else you kind of want to say about the work or anything else that kind of interests you that um, I haven't mentioned? Um, I mean, I guess one thing, we sort of did cover it in terms of the casting, but, you know, re really important to the work was was an experiment in inclusive rehearsal room practice. Mm. Um, so we, we worked really hard to, you know, have, having Kate on board, who um, who was a fantastic disability advocate as well as a fantastic actor, and she taught us so much about what it means to set up a space that's that means she can be in a room with able-bodied actors and that can work. And, you know, I felt really proud of us doing that as an independent production because we had, as we always do, really limited resources. But to do that and to really pay attention, you know, we had um, Alice Ansara who was breastfeeding and had a small child at the time and Emily Tomlins had an injured shoulder. And so everyone, the play in some ways, the process was a bit of a reflection of the content of the play, which was how can we care for each other? How can we actually create spaces that allow for difference but also form a kind of unity so I suppose I like to I like to bring that up because I feel like you know independent theatre often carries loads that aren't acknowledged there's the actual work but there's all of the everything that goes on around to build these little communities every time and it's always about the skills and the generosity of the people involved so for me like contest was so much about that group of women people who came together all you know hands on heart to try and make this work and it was difficult at times it was really hard but it was also incredibly rewarding for us as a group to sort of see what we could and couldn't do in that context so I feel like that's inextricably linked to what the work became is that group of people and what we wanted to do yeah, yeah.